So we are now inside of the AT&T Stadium. About to go on the ground floor to take a look at the different RVs that are here. If you've never been here before, this is a massive stadium. So this is really cool. They've set everything up inside of this air-conditioned environment. All the RVs are out on the floor. Makes it really convenient. So you all probably remember seeing this at RVX, but you probably didn't get a chance to see how much it costs. This black edition has a $48,694 sales price with a $60,000 MSRP. Black Series is a off-road built, very Australian in heritage and designed travel trailer. A lot of people like these. The interior of them I think is gorgeous. And to kind of give you perspective, this is still less expensive than a comparably length-sized Airstream. But look at the cabinetry. You can just see how nice and smooth. Beautiful setup. No slides, but it still has a very airy feel. European window design, queen-size bed up front, lots of countertop space, very good execution of space. This is actually the same model as the one that I walked through also in Salt Lake City at RVX. Lots of great design features. This outside pull-out kitchen, stove cooktop, sink, pass-through storage, huge frame assembly, off-road tires, fully independent suspension, rock slides, rock guards on the side. Holding tanks are all encased. Kind of a interesting diamond plate look. Even the spare tire rack is massive. I had no luck finding the weight information on this trailer. It's buried on here somewhere, I'm sure. But right across from it, they have this really cool black series, kind of a pop-up. Very open and airy. You can see how this kind of draws down. Has the same outside kitchen. Lots of storage, and they're on these sliders. So you have the ability to move your stuff in and out really easily. This one has a $17,594 price tag, which isn't really that bad, off of 20 grand MSRP. I love the fact that it includes two full-size spares and wheels on the back, and you still get your fully independent suspension as well as a protected tank. This is a very cool setup. Definitely something I think a lot of people would like, especially if you're into pop-up tents, if you're into pop-up campers, and you've been looking for something like this that's more compact, easy to be towed, but you go out in places like Moab and areas where you could really use that independent suspension and that more ruggedized chassis. I love this interesting step system that you use to get into this unit. Plus you can kind of see how it utilizes space. You know, a lot of people expect every RV to have every amenity, such as bathrooms and showers and things like this, but a lot of people would get something like this simply to be off the ground in a more secure environment, more comfortable environment than tent capping. These Black Series products have been a long time coming to the U.S., and I know a lot of people have been wanting these. So a measurement that you want to keep in mind when you're shopping for a fifth wheel, and a good reason to bring a tape measure with you, is that not all fifth wheel overhangs are the same. So this specific overhang on this Sabre sits about five inches higher than the one right next to us on that Sandabelle. So if you have a newer truck with a taller bed height, it's likely that that fifth wheel is going to lean back more whenever it's hooked up to your truck versus this one, and you may run into a situation where you're putting too much weight on the back axle of that fifth wheel because of this. So on this specific fifth wheel, again, because this comes down so much further, clearing your bed rails is going to be a little bit more difficult. RV shows like this are really nice. The only problem is there's about 100 people on every RV you try to go on. Anyways, guys, I will be out here for another day. So if you guys haven't had a chance, now's a great time to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.